Peru is one of the top three fishing countries in the world and home to one of the largest fisheries. But even with this huge supply, Peru's fish are at risk. That's why the Nature Conservancy Fisheries Specialist, Matias Cayo, is working with the fishing communities of Peru to help protect their oceans and their way of life. We started visiting a lot of communities through the coast and trying to understand what the problem was for them. It was until we got to Ancon when we realized that there were groups of fishers that were taking the matter into their own hands and trying to make a change, a positive change. Lo que nosotros veníamos ya sintiendo que sinceramente cada vez nos quedamos con menos recursos. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Para eso se convocó una una reunión porque la, la, se estaba presentando el problema de que no teníamos recursos y al no tener recursos qué va a pasar mañana más tarde si no lo hacemos ahora. At that point they say, "Okay, oh, hey, we need to change." And they started to self-regulate their activities. They started to put quotas to enforce their agreements. Personas que no respeten serán sancionadas. No, y es la única manera de conservar lo poco que tenemos. They decided to close some fishing grounds and see how they will recover when not fishing. That's how we started working together. Bonito, ah. Salió sin pata. Bien, muchachos, ah, buena pesca. So these guys have a, a regulation. They throw back whatever is undersized or comes with eggs, then it goes back. You know, that's a good way to assure that the spawning continues, right? We have started to put science in practice with them so they can see the results of their initiatives and figure out what the best strategy is to, to manage the, the resource. Y es ahí donde cerramos un islote que ahorita lo tenemos cerrado y con los constantes monitoreos nos hemos dado cuenta que sí da resultados y, y a futuro se pueden sacar provecho de esos islotes cuando ya no tengamos recursos. So the octopus, fin fish that uh, divers of Hong Kong catch can go to supermarkets, restaurants or to households, consumers like, like, like you and me. Not just in Peru, but around the world, we depend on fishing and marine ecosystems for our survival. And today, those ecosystems are depending on us. Next time you eat fish, ask where it came from and how it was caught. If it's available, eat responsibly caught seafood. If it's not, just by asking questions, you're creating awareness that responsible seafood is important. By working together, we can help our communities, our ecosystems, and our oceans recover. <laughs>